the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video in center let us take this uh, triangle uh, we can notice that uh, the three sides of the triangle are not equal the three sides of the triangle are not equal we can uh, notice that this is the length and so when you just use a scale you can uh, notice that the three sides are not equal now let us demonstrate the concept of in center uh, for this we have to demonstrate the concept of angle bisectors angle bisectors let us mark the three angles of this triangle as a b and c here we have to make the angle a into two halves angle b into two halves angle c into two halves the method of finding this may be using the actual measurement device to find out the angle c and then take a half of it and marking it this is one way the other simple way when we are using a paper is to simply fold it in such a way that angle A is made into two halves. How do we do this? Now take the side AB and bring it on the side AC. Bring it on the side AC and make a very strong crease very strong crease that means that means now the angle a is divided into two halves how did we do this we folded the paper in such a way that one side that is angle the side ac coincides with the side AB. So the angle A has been made into two halves and let us call this as line D. That means angle A is made into two halves with the bisector, the angle bisector AD. Similarly, we can make the angle B into two halves. How do we do this? We can bring the line AB, let it coincide on the line BC so that the angle B is divided into two halves. How do we do this? You take that line AB or BA and let it coincide on the line at the bottom and you make a very strong crease strong crease okay so what we have got here now we have folded the paper in such a way that angle B is made into two halves you call that as E. Okay. So angle B has been divided into two halves and uh, we have connected that uh, point to the other side uh, that is to the side AC and we call that as uh, BE. Now similarly we have to take uh, the angle C and divide it into two parts. How do we do this? Let us take uh, the line, the side AC, let it coincide with the side BC. 
So you fold the paper in such a way that uh, the point C uh, A you know this line is coinciding with the with the bottom okay so what we have got C and then you call that as F now you can notice that CF CF the angle C is divided into two parts CF is the angle bisector and we can note that all these angle bisectors are passing through a point uh, which is called as in center we call that as I that is in center in center so what we have done we have taken each angle of the triangle and we folded the paper in such a way that each angle is made into two halves made into two halves and uh, so here AD is the angle bisector of the angle A BE is the angle bisector of angle B CF is the angle bisector of the angle C and uh, when we fold and make strong creases we can notice that all the points pass through a single point which is called as the in center so what we can do you can reverse the paper now the creases will help the child to understand the lines the angle bisectors and uh, we can have braille markings too on the uh, uh, vertices you know to mark the angles so when you reverse the paper you ask the child oh this is one uh, angle bisector this is another angle bisector this is another angle bisector and all the angle bisectors are passing through a point which is called as in center so this tactile experience will enable the child to understand this concept uh, very clearly hope you like uh, this demonstration and see you soon with another demonstration <laughs>